That's right, my Total War Truck content series is back. We covered basically everything there was for Rome 1 and Medieval 2 Total War. I decided to give it a bit of a break, but we are back today with some factions from Empire Total War that were meant to be in the game, but for some reason were cut. Let's begin. Faction 1, the Canite of Kiva. These were people who lived in the Uzbek region, east of the Caspian Sea, and they lasted from 1511 to 1920. The region where they are situated should have been here, and if you look at the map, I can kind of get a feeling that the region was carved out to exist at some point, given the shape of Russia curving into modern Iran. It does kind of look like there was something there. Overall though, I don't think it would have been an interesting faction or region, and so I can understand why it got cut. Faction 2, Mecklenburg. Situated between Hanover and Brandenburg, although adding this faction would have made the city-state mess of the German region more accurate, I believe this was cut to keep that region a little bit less chaotic. Faction 3, Schleswig Holstein. This faction historically would have been planted between the German city-states and Denmark, right next to Mecklenburg. However, this faction certainly would have been a squeeze, and probably did not make it into the game due to them not being able to fit it into the map. Faction 4, the Swiss Confederation. That's right, Switzerland was meant to be in the game, but got cut, and instead, the devs replaced it on the map as an unpassable zone. First of all, making it appear neutral on the map, rather than just adding it to France or Austria or something, may be a reference to the famous Swiss neutrality policy, as they literally made it impossible to capture. However, this policy was not in place at the time of Empire. Maybe it's just a reference to the Alps being unpassable, but the Alps are not unpassable and the neutral region on the map is only surrounding Switzerland, so I doubt it's that. It is certainly weird that they cut it. It did not make the area too congested at all. Also, it's not like it needed too much work left. Two Swiss units appear in game, Swiss infantry and Swiss guard. The faction must have been near enough to being complete. This one I cannot explain. Maybe they had too many AIs and had to cut one and add another more interesting faction instead to take its place. Like they did with Illyria to have the Greek city-states in Rome taught to war. Check out my older cut content videos if you want to know more about that. Faction 5. Last but not least, Tuscany. Tuscany would have been in the northwestern part of Italy. And as you can see by the map, there could have been enough space for it. In fact, the Papal States borders looked weird without it. There's a variety of reasons why this faction could have been cut. Time issues, AI limits, not enough space, could have been anything. Overall, I would have liked to have seen Tuscany. What do you think? Which factions here would you have wanted to see? And which do you not mind them having cut from the game? I certainly would have liked Tuscany and the Swiss, the others I am less bothered about. I can understand why the others got cut. But that is not all. I have one more piece of information for you about factions in Empire. The Mughal Empire. Of course, they are in the game as a main power, but it is believed they were also meant to be a playable faction, but this got cut and the faction remained non-playable. That is everything, I've been Melko and I hope you enjoyed today's small video about cut factions of Empire Total War. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe to get notified of more like this, and feel free to share also with anyone who may be interested. It helps the channel grow and makes all of this more worthwhile. If you know of any more cut content for any Total War games, preferably the newer titles as I've, as I've covered the older ones, please do get in touch and I may include it in a video. Until the next one, goodbye.